Hello, everyone. Good morning. How are we today, friends? Are we feeling good? Are we a little sleepy? Are we excited to be here for Sunday school? Whatever it is, I hope you are feeling well and rested, and I'm so happy to be here today to talk with you. Our faith word this week, just like it was last week, is belong. And this unit, just as a little reminder, we're using the definition of belong, which is to know you are accepted and included in God's family. This lesson today is about two friends, Jonathan and David. When Jonathan and David were younger, they made a promise to each other to always take care of each other and each other's families. This promise was called a covenant. Jonathan, Jonathan's dad was King Saul, and he did not like David very much. So even though their families were fighting, David and Jonathan still promised to look after each other. Our story that we're talking about today takes place way later when David is old and he is the king. And King Saul, the king before him, is dead. Even as a big, important king, David did not forget the covenant he made to Jonathan's family. And he wanted to help Jonathan's son, whose name was Mephibosheth. Now that is a hard name to say. I've never met anyone named Mephibosheth, but they had different names back then. So we'll just practice pronouncing it and we'll hear it again in the video. So let's watch a video together and learn about what David and Mephibosheth did together. Hey everyone, I'm Carly. Today our story is about Mephibosheth. Say it with me. Oh no. Me slowly. Mephibosheth. Now say it three times fast. Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth. <laughs> Today we can just call him M. Now that we know who we're talking about, let me tell you what's going on. In our story today, King David takes care of M, which is really weird in those times. You see, David's family and M's family were in conflict with each other. M was a member of the family of the king before David, and M was differently able. When David became king, he promised that he would treat M like his own family. Normally, a king would not take care of the family of the king before him. The new kings were usually really mean to them, but David did something different. He made sure that M had food, clothing, and anything else that he needed. A part of belonging is including and caring. David wanted M to know that he belonged. Family are the people that you love and who love you back, even if you aren't directly related. These people can be whomever you want. One time, me and my friends were playing in the park in our neighborhood. We saw a new neighbor playing in her front yard. So a couple of us ran over to her house. When we invited her to play with us, our new neighbor was so happy. She wanted a place where she could belong. Now we're all best friends too. Friends, David's actions remind us that caring for others is really important. God celebrates when we take the time to build relationships and include others in our lives, even when we don't have to. It's important that we work to make sure everyone feels like they have a place to belong. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Well, thank you for watching that video with me. David made sure that not only did he help care for Mephibosheth, he made him feel like he belonged. He treated him as a member of his own family. He dined with him every night. One of David's gifts must have been loyalty. He was loyal to Jonathan and the promise he made to him. And David made sure that Mephibosheth was not only cared for, but that he belonged as part of David's family. Mephibosheth's feet worked a little differently than most people's feet. It was hard for him to get around. Sometimes our world that we live in isn't very good at making sure that people, that everyone can get what they need. 
maybe the cabinets are too high to reach. Maybe a person has a disability that makes it hard for them to use stairs. But God loves everyone and made everyone different on purpose. So how can we, me, you, how can we make sure that everyone has a way to participate? How can we change our world so that it is easier for people to get what they need? I don't have that answer right beneath me, but these are questions that we should all think about. As children of God who want to make sure that our world is loving for everyone, we should find ways to make our world more accessible for others. What I liked in the video is showing one is that it showed one simple way we can help do that by inviting people, especially new people who haven't met everyone yet, to come be our friends and join our groups. That is one simple way that we can help people feel like they belong. So I want you to pull out your hand, you know, this thing right here, your hand, and I want you to look at the lines on your hand. Guess what? Your lines are different than my lines. Look at the lines on the hands of whoever you are watching this video with. Your siblings, your parents, your grandma or grandpa, their lines are going to be different than your lines and my lines. The lines on our hands aren't the same, and that is because God made us all special. And even though we all have different things about us, we all belong to God's family. So today, our prayer is simple. If you'd like to make your prayer hands with me with your hands with different lines you can put them together and repeat after me or just listen whatever you need to do dear god thank you for making all people belong amen have a beautiful rest of your day thank you for coming with me to sunday school and i'm excited to talk with you tomorrow or not tomorrow next week Oops, I'm excited to talk with you next week. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day.